Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be doing another movie review. This time around, I'm going to be doing a review for The Shining, the 1980 version. And the reason I say that is because there's another version of The Shining that um, that Stephen King did um, in the 90s. So yeah, and this movie stars Jack Nicholson, Shelley Duvall, Danny Lloyd, Scatman Crot Crotchers, Crothers, um, Barry Nelson, Philip Stone, and Joe Turco. Tur Turkey. So yeah, before I begin though, 10 seconds spoiler warning as usual for those who have yet to actually watch this movie and haven't already. Um stop the video, go check it out, go check it out and come back and watch the rest of this review. And 10 seconds spoiler warning as usual starting now. Okay, so 10 seconds are up, so for those who have yet to actually watch the episode and haven't already, please don't comment down below or be messaging me, then never give you a fair warning, because as usual, I did. So as usual, quick synopsis, likes and dislikes, and then the rate. Um, so yeah, basically, another Stanley Kubrick film, one of the best directors out there. And basically in this movie, you have the, um, this group, um, this small family, the Torrance family, made out of Jack Torrance, Wendy Torrance, and Danny Torrance. And they all decide to move, in a sense, to this hotel up in the mountains um jack torrance gets, gets a job as the hotel babysitter basically um he has to babysit the hotel and all of a sudden these weird occurrences start happening you have these two twins that start popping up out of nowhere you have Dan um, danny you have danny torrance who starts hearing not voices but i guess starts seeing things um to put it um, put it into perspective he starts seeing these two twins he starts seeing ghosts and his dad jack torrance is starting to go mad mad at the same time wendy torrance she's trying to protect danny torrance from these demons as well because danny torrance is seeing demons they're affecting him they're affecting his dad um and wendy's trying to protect the kid but she kind of realizes that she can't but she's trying to do the best that she can she she does and it basically ends with the climax a pretty, a pretty good climax towards the end where you have them in the maze um jack torrance kills a, kills the um kills the chef I, be, I believe it was the chef um so yeah that was pretty good pretty good and that's basically the gist of the movies basically a bunch of people going mad because they're being possessed by demons and yeah now i do have to say i was a bit disappointed with this film just a little bit just a little bit i expected a bit more from it because this is the first time i've seen it i've seen bits and parts of it but i haven't seen it in its entirety so yeah i mean i've seen bits and parts of it but you know especially the here's johnny um yeah i so yeah um one thing though i don't come to think of it um why does he say here's johnny and i know this is probably nitpicking but why does he say here's johnny if his name is jack um i've never heard johnny being used as a name for um nickname for jack um i don't know minor nitpick but from one of the most iconic scenes so yeah it's complete bullshit but i just want to know that and I, I mean i know it was improvised so there's that too um so yeah now for the most part the acting is really good um jack nicholson apparently stanley kubrick um he he didn't exactly idolize jack nicholson but he made he didn't really complain much about jack nicholson's performance and he tried to protect Danny Lloyd, who was a little kid in, at the time, uh, from the from the actual plot of the movie. But when it came to Shelley Duvall, he basically uh, he basically gave her shit after shit after shit. And um, Stanley Kubrick was no as it was known to do that to get um, his actors to get to an emotional state that they need to be for his movies. He basically does anything in his power to get them, get them into that emotional state. And he basically what he tried to do is um, get when um Shelley Duvall to in a sense hate Jack Nicholson so much they would um show through her performance and what I mean by that is not exactly hate her but you know like because Jack Nicholson was being treated almost like godlike while during filming and then Shelley Duvall was treated like shit you know so that was interesting that that's pretty interesting you know Stanley Kubrick again one of the best directors um directors and not many people know this, but he actually died one day before before my birthday, uh, March 7, 1999. I was born March 8, 1999. So I've always I've always found that interesting. They died one day before my birthday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why not? Um, yeah. Speaking of which, Joe DiMaggio, the baseball player, I think he died on my birthday, if I'm not mistaken. John DiMaggio, Joe DiMaggio. Um, I forget. What, I think it's John. I want to say it's John DiMaggio, the baseball player. 
Um, where's Joe DiMaggio? Uh, and I think it's no, no wait, Joe DiMaggio. I just searched it up, Joe DiMaggio. Yeah, he he died on my birthday, so that so yeah. Um, that's also interesting. Just small tidbit for me. Um, yeah, he died on my birthday. So Stanley Kubrick dies the day before, and I and he, DiMaggio on my on my birthday. Whatever, off topic. So I mean, overall, this is a pretty good movie. It's a, it has some pretty good scares. Um, throughout the whole movie, in my uh, for, for for the most part, and it's really psychological and intense, especially when you have the demons kind of controlling the little boy and you know his dad. That's pretty interesting. Uh, and running through the maze. That's also pretty interesting, and just the ambiguous ending as well, where you have, like, um, in Torrance, where you have Jack Torrance kind of learn the picture from, like, 1927 or whatever, and I believe the, the movie is supposed to take place, like, in the 1930s or, like, 40s or something like that, I'm not really sure, but I believe that's when it's supposed to take place, so yeah, now, interestingly enough, however, um, the... The author, um, Stephen King, he didn't really like the adapt of this movie for some reason, so he basically turned it into a. So he basically in like in the mid to late nineties, he did like I don't know if it's a movie or a TV series or something, um, based on this book where, where in his um where it apparently was more accurate to the book, and I understand they have to switch some things, and I've um read the differences between the movie and the book, and out they are kind of drastic in my opinion. I mean there are a few drastic changes, but for the most part I think. Um, I haven't seen the miniseries or whatever, this, the television series from, like, the mid to late 90s. Um, but this, I think it's still pretty good for what it is. Overall, it's a pretty good movie, in my opinion. Um, it does have its issues. Yeah, sure, it could, I mean, there are, like, it does take a while for the plot to actually begin. It takes about a good half, half hour for the plot to actually begin. But overall, it's, oh, it's still a pretty good movie. It's still a really good movie, and I do recommend you guys checking it out. It's Stanley Kubrick, and it's considered one of the most iconic horror movies of all time. And what better time? What better time to actually watch this than than October, you know, horror season, basically. So yeah, on a scale of one to ten, one being the worst, ten being the best, and six being decent, I'd give this movie an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten, pretty good movie, great movie. Do check it out if you haven't already. And yeah, that's basically it for this review. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. Comment down below on your thoughts on the movie. Have you seen it? And if not, why not? And if you have other thoughts on it, comment out that time below. Let me know. Like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off.